Okay. Yeah, this is ending this week. So, I guess we're good to go. Gonna cancel that. Yeah, not really useful. The wind rises. Huh, too slow. Huh, too slow. Oh, ah, don't you? <laughs> that guy. Uh, is that a camera? Uh, it doesn't look like switch either. Let's go and have a look. Okay. Brainstorm. Mm. Have faith in yourself. Brainstorm, have faith. All the tools have been prepared. You just need to go underwater. Yes, underwater. Go there and prove that these tools are reliable and your work will be complete. What are you doing? Uh, where did you come from? I didn't hear you coming at all. I almost fell into the water, you know? If I hadn't regained my balance, the future photography in Fontaine would have gone down the water. You're not that close. Sorry about that, I didn't expect you to react that intensely. Wait, don't you know who, how to swim? And you're from Fontaine, aren't you? Well, after that thing at the... Uh... Of course, I will be a bit afraid to go in water. Who, who said that people from Fontaine must know how to swim? Not every person from Liwe can cook, and not every monster is a poet. Whatever, I went through all this effort to get diving app apparatus. Today, I must go underwater to take some pictures. Oh, so that's what's going on. Is there something special about this camera? Special. I brought some cards here, modifying the camera personally. This is why it's special. My modification techniques are strict and ingenious, and I only use the very finest materials. The lens is countless times better than those you find in any other cameras. Indeed, there will be no loss in image quality, even if you go underwater. But those people in the camera club, they don't care about my new techniques at all. They claim that the key to photography lies in the skill of the photographers themselves, not their tools. But just wait, I say, I will take some brilliant pictures and shut those enormous right up. Two, come on, Branson, believe in yourself, believe. The water is warm and comfy. Uh, it's definitely not full of men eating fish. Uh, 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 I will. Do this dive suit really work? It will suddenly explode underwater. After which, I shall be dragged into the watery depths, never to be seen again. Oh, the uh, Archons. Uh, if you really can do it, I can help you. Why don't I take some photos of the water for you? Really? Would you do this? Would you aid me? A most generous soul you are. Indeed, my savior. Well, I expect to be paid regardless. I need remuneration according to guild rules. No, oh, of course I won't be making you do this for free. Your recompense will be rich, trust me. Ah oh, yes, right. Allow me to mark some good underwater scenery on your map. There are also some on land. Uh, that should be around here. This is brand new equipment after all. It wouldn't hurt to test them on a few more spots. Alright, this will do. I'll, I leave Fontaine's special... I leave Fontaine's technical photograph future and my vision for camera tools in your capable hands. I shall uh, wait for you on the shore. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Use a special camera to record a target object. 
when you take a photo, if the field of view contains the objects you each require, information related to it will be displayed. Uh, just the camera distance is zoom to more easily record the same objects. You can take photos of anything that meets the relevant requirements. If you cannot find anything that should be recorded, you can try searching the area based on recommended. Okay, I think this should be quite similar to the last one we had. The is this is like chess me. Who are you again? Me? I am a member of the Fontaine Adventures Guild. Oh, he's from the guild. I am and I am also a card carrying member of the camera club. However, the people of the club always say that the quality of the photo depends on the skill of the one taking it. I've heard that some people even intentionally use outdated cameras to take photos in order to hone their skills. That just seems like looking for trouble to me. I, on the other hand, believe that better equipment takes better photos. And they say I don't understand artistry. Oof. Well, I, for my part, say they don't understand photography. But they will understand someday. It will mark my words. Engineering is the key. Engineering. Uh, why won't you go diving? Well, you know how some people don't like to eat mushrooms. And how others might throw up when eating fish. That's just the thing. Everybody's body is different. I can't take the dark environment of the water. Why? I grow breathless if I remain there for too long. Sometimes I feel my limbs tingle, my head spin, and then, before I realized it, the camera would have slipped from my head. I have been loath to go underwater ever since losing my fifth camera this way. Uh, let's see. Thank you. In the meantime, I'll be on the shore. Will I have to report back to you? No, not that. Too bad. Uh, uh. Oh, they are marked there already. Can we see them here? Uh huh. Uh, what took his spot? There. Right next to the waypoint. Uh, uh. uh I have to equip it. Oh, my. Uh,. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, back camera. I didn't actually pay attention to what I have to take a picture of. Is it that thing? Ah, yes. Xenochromatic. Fountain Emerald. I don't know. Ah, doesn't matter. Okay, next picture. No, not that. Uh, okay. Ah, three kinds. Oh, it's paying me shot not already. Yeah, but from the instructions, it seems like I don't have to go to the spot. The spot just pointing me to a specific one. But I, I could take a picture of any along the way. Let's 
It's not wrong here. It's still there. No, it seems to be a cave. Uh, uh, uh. Where is it? And they ignore my pictures, so there's no, really no point in worrying about them. Okay, four different kinds, two different kinds. Uh, the ones underground are also considered clockwork mechas, aren't they? Quit following the squall and fury! <laughs> Too slow. Quit following me. Huh. Quit following me. Har Nimble Harvester Mecca. Mm -hmm. Oh, here as well. Geological survey mech, huh? Specialists. Oh, thank God. Ah, nice. Good night. Uh, one, three different kinds. Just the different colors are considered different types. Yeah, probably. They they had to rename me when we captured them. They don't work. Oh, yeah, that's there. Okay. Uh, up here. Oh, there are two types here. No, maybe just different clothes. <laughs> Lady Poodle. And... Gentlemen, Pudo. He's carrying the cane on his tail. Okay, and another one. There. Do we have some regular dogs over here? Quit following me. Guard photo. Yeah, I think it's pointing to one of those. If I'm not mistaken, there is a regular dog around here. I think capture it once. Too slow. Okay, those aren't considered. Thing. The wind Dogs. rises. Yeah, you can throw that dog over there counts. I'm gonna get the one the quest is point me to. Huh. Quit 
follow me. Plutonium birds. Four different types. Very well. Squall and Fury. Those. The Umbrella Finch, a magenta faint tail pigeon. Ah, I was just there. Ah, the swans now, probably. Huh, too slow. Uh, there. No winged goose. Yeah, there aren't swans. Come on. Dark winged goose. Sunken object. Ah. Okay, now I'm not sure what we'll have to take a picture of. Ah, oh, there's part of that. Hey, that one's new, isn't it? That one is new. Yeah, we can go through. Yeah, I need to see if we can continue that quest. Mm, no. That? Sunken ship? Big deal. What else? Oh, ruins. Ah, the skeleton remains on the sea floor. Behold. Quit following me. Roger aircraft and I was just there again. Won't this be the mechanism that Swan usually theory. is right next to the airship? Too 
slow. Behold! This is a mecha. Oh, I think. Hey! I think that's the thing he wants me to capture. This is order! Stabilize! Fine, fine, go! Back, back! Solidify! The wind rises! Hey, stay fine. What's up? Quit following me. There's a thing. No? Ah, the tower. There's a one relay station. Ah. I didn't really know they were important. Yeah, my channel is fine the way it is now. Uh, mm, and that's it. Done already. Uh, let me see. I took a picture of another mech. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a new one. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. But I don't think I get anything else for extra stuff. Hmm. Oh, hang on, let me see. Is there any more cameras on the map? No. So you're back, so there's nothing now. That's it, we're done. Okay, those events are getting quite short. Yeah, thanks, but I'm not needing anything right now. Quit following uh, I guess I'll start doing some other random world quests around. I got one, two, three, four marked that I found around. If I'm not mistaken, there should be another one over here. Yeah. Harry. Uh. Okay. Jumpy, jumpy, no, no. <laughs> Order guide you. Stabilize. What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're my savior. I, Harry, will never forget your kindness. Now let's focus on a more important matter. Pymus curious how we ended up here. Uh, those crabs must have attracted must have been attracted here by the aroma of the roast chicken. Pam was attracted here by that too. Did Pam ever mention that while I was walking around? No, that's different. Those crabs were probably choosing between me and the roast chicken as the starter. Just the thought that they might have chosen fresh starters gives me chills. Sounds about right. The fresher the better. I'm more curious about why you are buried in the ground. No, let's just... I am more curious, but let's just ignore that for now. Hey, my mom was asking about Harry, not the crabs. Who else will be buried in the ground? Uh. 
So, do you need help? Naturally. Uh, no, I mean, no. Do not help me out. Oh, okay, okay. We heard you loud and clear. Let's go. No, wait, please. Uh, what's up? Uh, uh, here's the thing. Please listen to me carefully. This, this is a brand new beauty fad. You don't need to shout, but it was ears first. He shouted. Or not, I am per a perfectly sane person. I am adopting a beauty practice that is scientific and healthy. Which is why I burn myself the most sane with my own hands. Uh, please leave. Do not block my sunlight. It's night. Let's go. Since you are curious, then you leave me with no choice but to explain the magic of this skincare treatment. Uh, the claim warms in the sand can clear the... Uh, so loud. What's up with this person? I can't understand his words at all. This is really weird. Is he screaming? Should it be at least on cap so we know he's screaming? So what do you think? Let's check the vicinity first. We are leaving. Yes, we'll look around and come back later. Okay, off you go. That was an odd exchange. Okay, I'll check you out to the afterwards. Uh, don't look so worried. This is the latest beauty trend. Uh, speaking of which, why would there be a roast chicken here? It looks like there isn't any enough time to read anything. Oh, uh, then I remember it's time to shovel them, but then sure are a strange bunch. My strange machine, it is broken too. Is there anything else? Uh, that's it? No, come on. What else? Ah, those people here. Turner Hunter. Hi. Were they here before? Hello? Oh, they're from Spina de Rusula. Uh, hey, don't leave Paimo in this awkward silence. Hello. What a beautiful day. How about the person over there? What person? I don't know the person you're talking about. We're just taking a walk. Yeah, that's right. We're just taking a walk. A walk taken by us. Two totally ordinary people. What a beautiful day and what a wonderful thing walking is, don't you think? Taking a walk this is totally normal. I'm sure you understand. Uh, what are you guys even talking about? Did you hear someone calling for help? A maze bird in the ground over there and almost got eaten by crabs. What? Something like that happened? Where we take walks on such a beautiful day. If he gets eaten by crabs, that'd be really funny. I mean, a real pity. Shame we won't let this happen. I mean, we can't let this happen. If you run into something like this in your walk, we will not be bystanders. I mean, if. What are you guys doing here? Taking a walk. Like you said, taking a walk. You. Really didn't notice anything weird? No, not at all. Yeah, not at all, except that the two of you are interrupting our walk. Uh, take walk is very personal. We do not like being interrupted. We suggest that you find a good place for walks. The Fountain of Lucene, for instance, is a pretty good place. This is where we take walks, I mean, where we feel the nature. That's why we don't want to be interrupted. Goodbye. That's still pretty strange. Hello. 
that they can walk. And we hope we'll not interrupt our walk. Uh -uh, I didn't know I spoke to both of them. Uh, so, what do you do? Uh, don't doubt me, I bear myself in my very own hands. This is the latest beauty trained. Uh, you can just say any thoughts. Uh, seriously. Uh, the nearby shovel. Interpret. How do you manage to burn yourself like that? Ah, come on, you can't burn yourself like that. Especially on the beach. Uh, they're obviously not taking a walk. Roast chicken. The squeeze grilled to perfection, fragrant and crispy. The sizzling fat inside is releasing a thousand aromatic compounds that speak of tenderness that melts in the mouth. It looks delicious. Super cream beauty treatment. The latest beauty fed in a very weird attitude, but why did he have to scream and shout them? The crabs. Almost ate Henry's head or the roast chicken. So that he can be heard. This is shout so that people other than us could hear him. Speaking of such people, there are probably the ones who bird him. There are the ones that bird him. Uh, what are those? Yellow, like that. I don't remember. Fearful of the walker duel. Here is afraid of asking for our help because he's scared of the, walk of the walker duel. So the reason why the walker duel makes him scared is... The nearby shovel. Chilly bitch. Yeah. I can't get one place to the other, but I can get the other to the one. Okay. Uh, Harry was burned here. Yeah. They were the ones who burned Harry. Yeah. Hmm. Were you hearing my thoughts? I have done nothing. I, this is the latest beauty trained. Uh, when did you? We're taking a walk. Taking walks is a form of exercise. Exercise involves movement. Movement is what brought us here. Did you do this? So what if? Oh, Hunter, I remember now. Take a good look at him. Hmm. That's the person he told us not to mess with. Right, right. What are you whispering about? Nothing, we're just taking a walk. That's right, we're just taking a walk. If there's something, nothing else, we'll keep walking and walk to other places. Wait, don't... Don't you have to do anything scary to me anymore? The lesson has been learned, if you know what I mean. What a lesson? Nothing, I mean, roast chicken is dangerous. <laughs> if I struggle, see it as a valuable lesson. Let's go. Roast chicken is the board. Forget the roast chicken, we should continue our walk. Well, we will assign each traders roast chicken next time. Mm. Thank you, thank you so much. I knew you understand. Seems it is exactly like what you said. Let's help and hear me out. But digging you out is a really exhausting job, so Pamela will take the roast chicken as payment. As if she's going to help. Uh, Alright, fine. It takes you a while to help her out and say it takes uh, it takes the barrel of him. He was on a barrel. You start enjoying the delicious roast chicken with Paimon. Here it seems as if he is about to drool, but he holds back the desire to have a share to keep his promise and maintain his dignity. However, seeing Henry trying really hard to look unaffected, Paimon offers to share the roast chicken with Henry. The chicken is crispy on the outside and it gives out an irresistible oily aroma. Yum yum. Okay, but I want some backstory. Why? Freedom, ah, the sweet taste of freedom. Though not as satisfying as roast chicken is, freedom sure is sweet. So, what does the board that you are holding stand for? 
Oh, this it represents protests, of course. Okay, is what? Shouldn't they be able to read and just they have some idea? How should I put this? They are the ones who burned me. They did it to stop me from working hard, which is why I want to protest. What are we working on? Wait, why do they want you to stop working hard? Can you keep a secret? Of course, your secrets are safe with Paimon. They, yours are safe with me too, but I'm afraid I can't tell. Hey, are you making fun of Paimon? Let's talk about something else then. Okay, what's with the barrel you were wearing? Is this some form of protest as well? Uh, that I don't know. Before they burned me, they put this barrel on me. Uh, did born of their twisted taste, I anger, wager. And why did you end up buried by them? Because they are terrible, terrible people. They just grabbed me for no reason at all and burned me in the sand. They wanted me dead. No reason at all, huh? Really? Of course, didn't you see? I was literally buried in the sand. If they didn't want me dead, why else would they do it? Uh, that makes sense. What do you think? Uh, they are on the body. The barrel that the walker do put around his chest before he was buried. Was that so he wouldn't suffocate? He wasn't that deep. I don't think that would be enough to suffocate him, would it? Under the circumstances, the barrel prevents the sand from applying pressure to the chest so that Henry would not be suffocated. Which is to say the walker duo did not want to kill him. So their true intention was... The chicken is crispy on the outside and gives out an irresistible oil aroma, yum yum. Truly mouth watering. But Henry is buried so he couldn't eat. So it feels kind of weird the roast chicken was placed in front of him because... Crabs. Uh, almost in Henry's head or the roast chicken. Broke a machine. Machine with an unclear purpose. Seems like it's no longer functioning. Is it related to the situation here? Okay, I think this one with the crabs. No? Bird safe? No? Yeah? Use the roast chicken to catch Harry. I don't know, I thought it was put it there afterwards to attract the crabs. Uh, if it were Paimo, she might have fallen for that. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's wrong. No, oh, they can be it. We're safely for the crabs. Uh, because I'll. No. Interrupt your game. Associate with that. Okay, let's try them all. Uh, the crabs, so he was worth saving. He was hairy to catch crabs. Yeah, but that can't be just it. Otherwise, they could have just used the chicken to catch crabs. Yes, I see the walker do want to use hairy to attract crabs. Hmm. Uh, say it remember lesson. Ah, uh. they mentioned lesson before leaving. Seems like they wanted to teach Harry a lesson by burying him in the sand and letting him see the roast chicken that he couldn't reach. But why? Associate with the crabs. Ah, uh, because he broke the machine. Because he broke the machine. Changing from the clues from the scene, the reason it could only be this. What? Well, so they didn't intend to kill me at all? You guys are really observant, that's right. It was 
I I was the one who broke the machine. Why did you break the machine? Uh, why indeed? Because long time ago I lived a poor miserable life. I was really depressed. Then I met a guy who gave me a healthy drink uh, that lifts my spirits. He was really kind to me, so I wanted to pay him back for his kindness. One day I had my chance, he introduced me to some very rich people and asked me to help them. Uh, all I did was manual work, such as collecting mechanical parts that belonged to the Fontaine Research Institute. The rich people paid me a pretty sum for those chores. Wow, sounds pretty awesome. Right, this time they asked me to find this strange machine, take the car out and deliver the car to them. I can both repay my bro and make some money. I've gotta give my all. But those terrible people, perhaps they hated seeing me working hard to change my life for the better. So they interfered with my work and warned me against delivering the uh, precision components to my employers. But I wouldn't let them win. I took the job and protested against their behavior. And as a result, like I said, I was taught a lesson that I apparently didn't learn. Uh, poor you, but is this job of yours really so well paid? Of course, this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to tell you why I'm protesting. However, since you saved my life, not as much as saving your life, I mean. I also thought that since you two are really observant, I might as well just tell you the truth. You can see it as a collaboration. Such strange machines have been deployed above ground and underwater. It's easy to spot such machines. Uh, they all produce a peculiar light around them. Handle it for me and bring me the specific core inside. They should be, there should be seven in total. After it's done, we'll split the earnings 50-50. Deal? Sounds good. What the machines do? I take 70 of the earnings and 20 must be paid in advance. I kind of want to say that, but can he respond what the machines do? They destroy the environment. The machine, these machines are evil stuff. Destroy how? How am I going to know? I'm not a member of the Fontaine Research Institute. Anomalies have already occurred, so it, is, it has to be hazardous for the environment. But that sounds reasonable. Every time we see any supernatural environment during our adventure, there about to be some trouble that we have to deal with. And this why don't you help Harry? Great, it's settled then. Bring me seven cars as we come rich together. Uh, we move that. Uh, what do you want? I have the cars. Uh, ah, okay. I never pay attention to those machines. Okay, there, there were some of those around the oceans. Maybe I have them all. Why are you protesting here? We must rise where we fell, of course. Okay. What do I want me to do anyway? Uh, what will I do with you? Seriously, now someone has placed some strange machines on the sword above the ground and underwater. They're very easy to identify as well. There's strange light in the area. Get rid of them and bring these specialized cores to me. There's seven total things. Yeah, I probably have them already. Here are what the cores wanted. Let me see. Yeah, those are cores. They look like gears. I want to call those cores. Uh, there we go, seven cores all told. What do you need them? What do you need with them anyway? How should I know? My boss just said that seven mysterious cores from these mysterious machines would be needed. And if you can get them, I'll make big more. And well, this will do. I've arranged to meet him here and report on the situation. So you can just ask him yourself in any case. I'll need him to settle his bills with me before I can give you your share. Fine, if you say so, we'll wait. You wait for a while. Oh, not suspicious at all, your boss. Dear Harry, how are things going? I think you're gonna bury him under oh, the sand. Very well, boss. I've gathered the seven mysterious cards you asked for. Anyway, let me introduce you to my partner. Uh, what's your name again? Uh, ah, you know me. Wait, you know each other? Great. 
so this is how things went. <laughs> ah, I see this one is here. The boss turns to flee, but is suddenly captured by Hunter and Turner, who come up from out of nowhere. Oh, after a while. Yeah, yeah. Mercy, have mercy. Uh, the sure are pretty skilled. Don't worry, boss. There's no more to danger here. I'm sure of it. Indeed, indeed. No one's in danger at all. For now, anyway. For now. As for what comes next. Whether you wind up as roast chicken or something else altogether, well, that's all up to you, boss. Uh. How did the two of you end up here? After we had the honor of meeting you previously, we decided to show Dale Henry. Uh, wait, why me? Actually, why was I the target in the first place? I was just doing my job. The machine is metal, were devices used by the Fontaine Research Institute to monitor and optimize water quality. So why was I breaking them anyway? I was doing that even before the quest. Um, were they meant to produce pollution? The cars in made up contain the most advanced central components and hydrological data in Fontaine. As such, we hope to acquaint ourselves with your training partner. They look just like gears. Uh, what? Why? You lied to me, Harry. Gasp. Shock. We were tricked. You lied to me, boss. Did you know you were, make you were making me destroy such important things? I didn't mean to. I'm only the lowest rung on the... Uh, why did I hear about you not meaning to do something? Could you say that again? I don't think I heard you clearly. If... Oh dear, this boss must be tired. Uh, he's even falling asleep, his eyes open. Uh, this wasn't our intention either. Well, about that, we decided not to pers pursue the matter. Really? Will things be okay like that? We just need the cores and the data within them to be whole. The machines themselves are ancillary. The higher ups say that it's fine and that we shouldn't tangle with you regardless. Uh, what's that about tangling with me? No, oh, nothing, nothing. I mean, would you look at that? It's us out on a stroll. And fancy us meeting you here, huh? What a lovely weather, and what a lovely coincidence, too. As all encounters must come to an end, and so too will ours. It's time to say goodbye, I fear. Just allow the beauty of such a meeting to linger in your heart. Or perhaps forget about it. Who knows? It might be better that way. Uh, so we're alright. And wouldn't that guy be carrying money to pay you, at the very least? We you prefer things to be otherwise? Oh, Arkons, no. We are right. Of course we are. I thought I'd meet a good person with whom I could turn my life around through labor. Unless people of the Wintain remain the dominant majority. Hey, Harry, let a hand, would you? Huh? I mean, it's a very shame, but this good hearted boss of yours seems to have lost his wits. I will not going to need it someone uh, hard working reliable you know a good friend who hopes to change his life through all this labor that's right we need a good friend to help us take this nice man to our safe house there we can speak with him at our leisure of course we will express our gratitude in more oh sure coming in then thank you thank you both and thank you too, um, Ignus Spymon. We didn't introduce yet ourselves yet. Thank you both, Ignus Spymon. My life really did change after meeting the two of you, it seems. No need to thank us, just work hard, Harry, and don't get fooled again, alright? Yes, I won't. I'm going to work hard and become a rich man. And then I'll have others working for me. Hunter Turner and Harry dig the unconscious photos out and take him away. Uh, Shpama sure hopes that Henry's life will turn around. Hang on a minute, what about the pay Henry was supposed to give us?
to hold her chicken. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I kind of want to leave it there now. Uh, is that his part? You even want this? And that's mine. Okay, that was interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Let's check the ones around here. Quit following me. Squall and Fury. Second part of this one. No problem, our box is waterproof. All we need to do is dive down and fetch it. But none of us here knows how to dive. I know how to swim, but diving is boring me. Is, is the commission we posted at the Adventures Guild still on the board? But didn't you say before that we should hurry up and take the commission down? Oh, we did that yesterday. The guild said they can return us our prepaid commission posting fee today. Uh, if we want to send out a commission again, we are going to need to pay an additional service fee. Have you guys finished your film? What are you guys doing here? Film? Adventure. Ignis, you came right when we needed you. Can you dive? Or can you help me find a diver with the village in time to do a dive? You want to do an underwater shoot? We are hardly that capable, we also can afford waterproof film equipment. It's probably because the box we put our films in fell into the water. Alright, that's enough you two, and you're gonna help us out. Don't worry about the payment, I'll pay you up front, just like last time. So should I have been paid? Uh, I hope the films won't be damaged by water. Don't worry, boss. The box is still tight. The water won't be getting. Good thing our film camera didn't fall in. Otherwise, it will be a total flop. Mm, I don't know if those are like old cameras. They could probably just dry. It. There will be any, wouldn't be any electronics inside. Yeah. box <laughs> too slow now uh, I'm gonna have to kill them uh. the wind rises Oh, you're the best, uh, you're absolutely the best. If it weren't for you, everything inside the case would have been lost. We need to get back to the city and give the swims to Mr. Geisert. And then, let's have a meal together. You know, you're, if you're interested, you can come too. After you finish eating, I'll pay you your reward. Wasn't I supposed to be paid up front, as you said? Alright, well, I just happen to be hungry. Alright, settled. Yifeng, bring the films in this box over to Mr. Geisen later. Shinge, Shinge. Uh, go get some good greens from nearby. I've been practicing my Posan seafood soup. And it's time to show it off to Mr. Geisen. Boss, we're already going to the restaurant, why do you still get to do things yourself? So that we can save costs. Can we bring our own food to the restaurant? Uh, it's settled, let's get going. And you can follow me. Follow, follow. 
like walking behind you? No. Uh, hang on, let me get those. Those are usually quite scattered around. Ah, there you guys are. You know, I've never been here. Do you have some recipes I can buy? Yeah. Mm. Lasagna. I have a Fanta. Well, I can probably cook all of those. Those look nice. Yeah, I think I like Fontaine co co Cuisine the better. How about you? Do you have something other than dialogue? Hello there, welcome to the... Uh, uh, uh. The performance... Okay, okay, we'll find that. Uh, this part is pretty strange, uh, but it should be used the same way as the ones in Liyue. Was I got the veggies, but they are all out of Marcotte. I couldn't find any other store that sells it. I didn't really pay attention to that. Cool. That's the last ingredient we need. Is well, we just, I'll go fetch it. Include this with the payment. Thanks for your help. Don't worry, I know the adventurers work. How adventurers work? This isn't a free favor. Uh, Do I have it already? Probably. Ah, that's okay. Okay, gotta get this meal started as soon as possible. Gotta do this fast, Mister Geister. It's almost here. Uh, it is I'd like to introduce you to a master filmmaker, Mr. Geister. Uh, Mr. Geister, this is Ignus, a highly skilled adventurer. If you're planning to shoot an action film in the future, you should definitely consider casting Ignus as the lead. Uh, Mr. Xiu exaggerates. I'm not some filmmaking expert. I'm just someone who's somewhat familiar with the uses of lightning for filmmaking. Ah, you're too modest. The lining in your films practically speaks for itself. Use this lining for filmmaking. It's lining very important for making. Yeah, in my lining theory, I believe that the manipulation of lining is the manipulation of emotions. But how should I put this? My theories have yet to be regarded in Fontaine's film industry. Most directors prefer to use direct movement or the scene itself to illustrate their stories. I've shot a few films barely using lining transitions to express narrative, but almost no one was interested. But now, at least one director thinks my lining theory has value. Director? Me? Huh, don't jest. I was just a tea vendor. Who said a tea ve vendor can be a director? I was just a journalist before. Journalists? They must be good at writing reports, just like those in the papers. I suppose, what about it? Uh, just as well. Uh, nothing, nothing. Let's eat. We have, we will have plenty of time to work together in the future. Everyone takes a seat. It means you fourth right lefter. So the meal means you make an issue on the meal instead of the bag. <laughs> there, I think there will be more quests. Uh, but I don't know, I think they could 
go around instead of just go back and forth. <laughs> Too slow. Away from the dish racks. Minute. Ah, that's where we were eating with. Uh. Ah, Bozo Hotel. Okay. Let's see. There is. Oh, let's remove this one. Let's check the request over there. Back there. Behold. <sighs> Quit following me. It's bad fountain. Uh, fountain silence seems to have stopped working. It seems to be broken. As you observe the fountain, someone else arrives. Uh, why hasn't Edo fixed this fountain yet? If this doesn't get fixed soon, Kara 3 is going to make sure everyone in Diva hears about it. Is this fountain broken? Just a few days ago, it was still working just fine, but now it suddenly stopped. What's worse, it broke just as I was performing magic tricks for Kara Try. Kira tree. Kira tree. Kira try. Kira tree sounds better. But I think it would be Kira try. Uh, my parents were at the opera when it happened, and they told me to stay at home with my sister and entertain her with games and, or books. But Kira tree wouldn't stop pestering me to, make, to take her out. I just couldn't stop her and ended up taking her outside to play. When we got to the fountain, character Sutton said she wanted to wait for her parents to come out of the opera so she could walk home with them. That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, Paimon thinks since you already walked all the way, if you waited for your parents to come out, maybe they would have treated you to something yummy. It was already really late by then. If mom and dad found out oh, that I snuck my sister out and we were lighting around at night, they killed me. So I told a little white lie to Kara Tree. I told her I knew a magic trick that could make the fountain stop spraying water. Actually, I just knew the timing between spurts of water, and I wanted to amuse her and get her to go home. I correctly estimated when the fountain would stop, and my sister bought my magic spill hook, line, and sinker. She wouldn't stop badging. Measuring me to teach her how to do this spell all the way home. So, after I brought her home, I made up some stuff to satisfy her curiosity and got her to go to bed before heading back to my room. Mom and dad came home a little while later and everything seemed normal. But the next day, when I was out to I was out getting paper for that, I realized that this fountain was still not working. It was broken. You were out getting paper for that. Where do you guys live? I thought that your parents were going to catch the Alcabus. Your magic is pretty powerful, as better of expected of a mighty magician. Come on, don't tease me. If character mentions this to mom and dad, I'm toast. Uh, the fountain and the plaza suddenly broke down. What do you think happened here? That's really strange. Seemed fine before we went to the opera that night. I know why. It's because. Remaldier, Remaldier, I guess, made it stop, isn't that right? That's a really good impression. We don't know them, how will we know if that's a good impression? Thanks to your vivid and passionate performance, I now totally understand the situation. And once more, they'll find out that my sister and I were out at night, and then they'll yell at me so much, and I'll be in hot water for the next two months. 
but this fountain should have someone managing it, right? If it's broken, can they just call someone to fix it? I told the fountain's manager, Edel, about this, and he promised that he promised me that he would fix it as soon as possible, but even now the problem hasn't been sorted out. I can't hide it much longer, I'm finished, totally finished. I will ask him about it for you, or if it is a big deal, I'll give you a hand. Really? You are willing to help? In that case, I'll give you my, my spare allowance, all of it. Edel is over there. Please hurry up and go ask him what's going on. Uh, where? Where is Edo? Squall and Fury! Huh, too slow. Are those like that one? Yeah, they don't look broken. I'm not sure it's exactly like the other one. Following me. What's up? The pipes here need to be changed and evolved. There's also the matter of cleaning the thing. Uh, problems without problems. Uh, do you need something from the look of you? You're not Stell's repair crew. About remote year. Oh, him. Yeah, his mesh is really something. I rusted a valve in the fountain's bottommost piping and I was completely broke the no nozzle. Uh, I just actually it was the deformed valve getting stuck that jammed the entire water system. For safety reasons we temporarily shut down the entire fountain. But why did the nozzle break? I really don't know. It's so weird. Remote the air keeps saying in if the fountain doesn't get fixed soon, he's going to get chewed out, but there was only so much I could do previously. I finally had some time to order a new valve, a nozzle from Estelle today, and I am about to go to the city to get it. You can come with me if you want. I have quite a lot of things to collect, so I'm a little worried that I won't be able to manage on my own. Okay. Up. Hello, how can I? Oh, I know. I'm here for the Volvo with Nuzzle. If the Ponta isn't fixed soon, we'll drive that key remote the air up the wall. The Volvo will say, oh, Why are you stuttering? Stel, you didn't forget to make it, did you? No, I did make one, but a previous client had to do urgent repairs on something else, so I gave her some general parts. Don't worry, I'm in the midst of making a new one right now. It'll be ready shortly. Miss Tell, I put that order in long ago. I know, but that client of mine was in a hurry. She claimed that she needed to repair sewage, a sewage valve, and her pleading got the better of me. It's alright, once, once the iron chunk I purchased arrives, I'll be able to make the valve. It should be here soon. When did you put that order in? Uh, this morning. In the middle of the iron chucks to me, I'll go get those iron chucks. Really excellent, and excellent. We be counting on you, traveler. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Just three iron chucks would be enough. I'll be counting on you, traveler. Don't worry about remuneration. I won't have you working for free. Two. Oh. Uh, travel to get iron chucks. Yeah, always. This should be enough, hang on, I'll only make, make a second, Star begins working in a frenzy. It's alright, uh, we've got the valve and nozzle, as well as all the general components we'll need, it's all ready. Adult Traveler, let's head to Arrhenius, uh, as long as I'm there, the fountain should be fixed in all time. Uh, thank you, uh, I'll take this thing, Traveler, let's get going. So she also makes repairs elsewhere. I thought she knew. 
was sponsored like Smith. This is a pace, let's get to work. This whole day has been quiet for too long. Time to get it back up and running. The two take their tests with Custo. The valve has been installed. I also performed a comprehensive examination. No major issues. Alright, then let's stand back for a moment. The only remaining test should be to open uh, this sluice gate. I never seen that word. Let's let me see. The main sluice is over here, over there, and the secondary sluice will need to be operated. Please wait for me here. I'm going to open the sluice gates. Who even designed the system? Why did they put the sluice gates so far away? And it springs over to the sluice gates with all the haste. It comes here. Okay. Opening them was a pain. I'm beat. Let's wait just a moment. The water should come rushing in shortly. After some dull rumbling sounds, the fountain resumes normal functionality. Awesome, the fountain is working again. Now, if Keratri mentions that what happened at night, I can pretend I don't know what she's talking about. You could pretend you didn't know what she was talking about. It wasn't you who broke that. Now you know how to be careful with your magic shows. Now you know that magic and miracles all come with a price. This isn't a problem because of my magic at all, but thanks a lot anyway. Here, this is my spare allowance. Please accept it. The payment I promised you is in there too. Thanks for your help. Uh, and you too, Edo, Miss Stell. This is a should be thing, nothing in it. Next time, don't take your little sister out in the middle of the night. Uh, brother, what are you doing here? Character. Uh, what are you doing here? Aren't you... Weren't you supposed to be on a stroll with mom and dad? Yeah, I ran off where they weren't looking. I wanted to see how the fountain is doing. I didn't use magic to stop this fountain. I thought it wouldn't have started flowing yet. Uh, uh, magic has its limits. I'm sure you know that, right? It only worked for a set amount of time. Oh, uh, then I want to see more magic. Can we make the fountain stop again? This... Uh, character... There are lots of other people around, you know? If it's if I stop it, I'll upset all the people who want to watch it. Well, we can just come back later. Let's bring mom that too. I'm sure they want to see you do the magic. Uh, no, that's... Dear sister, I haven't really fully mastered this fountain magic. I'm sure our parents won't want to see some lame half-baked magic. That's why you can't mention the my father magic for parents just yet. I want to understand it fully before surprising them. Okay, I'm sure they'll love it once you know. Yeah, I'm sure they will, but let's head home first, alright? I can show you some new magic once we do. Uh, uh, I'll mark that one. Uh, down there. I think I can get that to where I need to go. You. Ahis. Hello, I'm Ahis. It's a pleasure to meet a new friend. Hi, Ahis. Paimo, Paimo. Hello there, I mean. Renata told me about... Uh, told me that you found that ship too. Is it true? Is it? Ah, good. That's the quest. Well, there are lots of ships in the ocean, but... Which ship do you speak of? Oh, that ship. Yes, yes, that one. Yeah, that one. I thought you were talking about a different one. Then, which ship were you thinking about? Uh, the one you mentioned. I'm oh, sorry, forgive me. I must have confused you. Uh, the ship I mentioned is the Sponsion. A white ironclad ship that sails through dreams. And the explorer for whirlpools and the abyss. is a flagship of Admiral... Basil Elton. Captain Basil left a fatal shipwreck 
and a tethered logbook in these waters. Uh, I come here every day to pick up and read everything with writing on them. Uh, so, you can consider me a sponsored archaeologist. I know everything about her. Well, not everything, everything, but I know uh, at least half of her. Oh, you must really love this ship, huh? You just can't stop talking about her once you start. But since, uh, but since even you only know half, she must have been a huge then. Well, she isn't that huge, because Captain Basil only left half of its hull behind. Uh, so, so it came to us. So that's what you mean by that ship. Uh, yeah, I knew you would understand. Renata told me, she said that you saw her in an illusion. This potion, the she who sails forward eternally. She who's returned from the paradise of Katuria. Her half front to be precise. I don't really remember, but okay. I'm not certain that was her exactly, but did she have a, a transport ship? I'm certain that must be her. Uh, I've never once faltered. I've always known ever since she responded to me. I knew she wasn't gone. Well, come down. Uh, you still haven't told us about what you need help with. Uh, help? Oh, I don't blame on asking for your help. Not really. But since you've seen the expansion, Ignus, well, I'm looking for it. So why don't you come along? Uh, your enthusiasm is making it hard to say no, and you mentioned a shipwreck, where there's wreck, there's a treasure, so yeah, we can join you. Let's go meet this lady of the sea. Yes, that's the spirit, let's set sail. Uh, today, point me to where it is. Was it here? Oh. This is the place we've arrived. Uh, please just wait a moment, allow me to tune the conch a bit. How do you tune a conch? Tune a conch, is that a part of the grilling process? Uh, come on, all you know is eat, eat, eat. How does she know? That's, we just met her. Paimon didn't mention food yet. This is a military conch for communication. A military conch? Yes, this is an old military conch. Ancient sailors used conches as a tool to communicate with each other. It must be a relic left behind from when the navy still existed. I found it in a sunken wreck. When I turned the conch here last time, I heard her response. Since you've seen her, I think you should be able to hear her response too. But you have to wait a moment, you know. I have to tune the conch before I can send out the proper signal. In other words, the ship can receive a specific signal. So you're saying that she will appear when you send us the signal? Yes, that's correct. However, both the time of the day and conditions of the sea will affect the conch signal generation. So you have to constantly tune it to make sure it will work. Okay. That's the problem with antiques. Anyway, since please wait while I tune this conch to align to the vibration of the waves. Don't go running too far away now. And, she, and he's definitely works for conch. Okay, that's it. I've learned a lot from these ancient seafarer manuals. Now, allow me to give you a little primer. There are three kinds of short signals that I usually use. Long low note, short low note, and long low note. Yes, uh, this one should mean, well, my guess is that it probably means ready and waiting. Long low note, long low note, long low note, long low note, long low note. Five. This one means, uh, I'm not actually sure, but the response I received last time was something like, so it's definitely useful or something. 
Charlotte note, long long note, Charlotte note, uh, okay. No, that's a long one for sure. This is the signal that has the highest likelihood of receiving a response. As far as its meaning, oh, come on. Short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Okay, it's just one in the other. According to the manual, at least it means I have message to send. Mm, so, what should we do to figure out the signal that we received in response? Use a duction to find the corresponding signal. Let's try signals one more time. Yeah, no way. That's far too random. We have uh, too little concrete information. It's true that I received some mysterious response back after sending out these three signals, but but I have yet to discover any logical relationship between signals and the appearance of dysfunction. So all I can do is try them all one at a time. Oh, which one should start with? I probably would have to use the the seal ability. I'm not sure which one do you prefer. Me? If you're asking me, then I would pick this one. The first one. Did you hear it? What? The signal. Wait, her. It's her. She's over there. In distance. Well, Paimon can't see anything. I saw it. Yes, I knew you'd be able to see it too. Quick, after her. Let's catch up. I thought she could hear it. I didn't know she could see it too. The other Millicent couldn't. Catch, catch, watch. The ship, have you two grown sails and sprouted oars or something? Disappears. Oh, he moved. Strange, why won't she show herself? Uh, even though Paimon can see the ship so far, she's still been following you two around on this wild goose chase. But since it disappeared here, perhaps it's a hint that was to find something. For all I know, there might be lost treasure here. Huh, the original fish Paimon sure is greedy. But what we're looking for isn't treasure at all. Yes, if we have to give it a name, is it closer to proof? By proof, you mean. Don't despair, Paimon, there might be treasure too. No. Proof that they sponsor the pass through this place, such as a navigation log, any wreckage from the boat itself, or nautical tools. Anyway, we should be able to find something related to her. Oh, so no treasure then. We can use the conch to send out sounds and analyze the returning sound waves to determine the ship's approximate location. Uh, activate conch. Uh, it's a box in a bucket. Uh, maybe we should open them and take a look. They just may be rocks. They're rocks. Really valuable rocks. Uh, silly Paimon. They're ballast. Ballast used to stabilize the weight of the battleship. Oh, then Paimon guess that there is no such thing as valuable ballast then. But since we found so much ballast dumped in a single location, perhaps the ship had to execute an emergency maneuver to increase buoyancy. In other words, she must have been forced to take extreme measures to evade danger, despite being the flagship of the Ironclad Armada. What happened here? It's a complete mess. There isn't even a complete wreck, it's mostly just fragments. Uh, signs point to her being still further up ahead, but she must have suffered irreparable 
damage. So why would she still forge onward on such poor conditions? Unless... Um, I think we'll find out why soon. So many tiny little pieces everywhere. It's like she was chomped beaten in half by a giant sea monster. How old was that? How long ago did that happen? Could that have been Elinus? Ah, oh, it's there. Uh, busted wooden planks, oars, and the wreck of a small boat. There's nothing worth looking at here. It's a lifeboat, so even the lifeboats were destroyed. Oh, look over there. What's that between the boards? It looks like scrap paper. Is it the log? Should we take it out and have a look? It's, it's still paper. It's readable. Day 23 of following the great beast Elinas. Oh, that is old then. We had to stop it, or at least immobilize it before further damage is done to Fontanian waters. Day 25 of following the great beast Elinas. It's been a long time since we last docked at port, but when we got close to shore this time, only ruins welcomed us. The creature had visited this place. We gathered the remaining supplies, but we are not sure how long they will last. Day 35 of following the Great Beast, Shalinas. We found its tracks and followed the trail of blood it left behind, pursuing at full speed, attracted many bloodthirsty creatures. Ship badly damaged, power system. We can only go wherever the wind and currents takes us. Closer to the enemy, Fontaine experience that everyone will do their duty. They came here to fight against monsters from the abyss. No! Elinas. Elinas isn't from the abyss, is it? Yes, I have heard of legends regarding them before, but does that mean that this potion has already... Uh, this isn't proof enough. Let's go to the next location. Which is to say, this potion server have been damaged, and the damage was related to the abyss expedition, and she continued to sail on. In that case, as was the conscious sending out another signal, maybe we'll hear her response from up ahead. Alright, oh, right, the signals you wanted to send are low note, or low, long low. Long low, 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 and shallow, long, okay, shallow, shallow, shallow. Uh, this is super lengthy, but these three signals should all get you a response. Uh, let's start from the shortest one. Let's now I choose. You did this shortest one already. Longest one. You should remember the signal. It goes okay. It's pretty long, huh? I got it. How? That's not practical. Oh, how was that wrong? Short, long, short, long, long, ah. No. Short, low, long. Short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Yeah. 
in the case maybe I should do it myself or I'll continue. Don't worry, I'll give this another go. Short long short long it goes twice sometimes. Um it wasn't active. I do wrong what did I do wrong I see the ship, but I haven't noticed uh, what you're right. We're getting close to the shore. What is that? We're getting close to the shore. Run. This is a pretty bad shore. We need to run around. How did it go? Uh, they call it a ship and stuff, but from if that's the path they used to make in the past, then was it actually a su a submarine? <laughs> Too slow. Oh look, this direction must have once been the ship we were chasing earlier. Oh well, half of it anyway. She's all turned up. Uh, don't be so sad. I, I his, we couldn't have expected things to turn out like this, right? I know, but oh, forget it. I'll go look around and see if there's anything worth investigating. Yeah, there may be some good stuff left. Come on, let's have a look around as well. Wow, there was a 500 is a goal. I uh, wasn't to be expected that. Following me. You would have been, would have sank or something. I don't know, getting CVs, but you pick up a few. Uh... Huh. What? The visual of Primage 1800, visibility 5. What's that? I thought those were ears, but that's too much. You quite see with some... Ah, that's, that's just timing. Okay. 1800, speed 5, quite see with some fog, prepare anti-fog devices. And it's trying to look out. Uh, 1930, speed 3, anti-wave device ready. Uh, 2100. This is a bit six, quite C. Uh, with three abyssal sea monsters emerging at four o'clock of the starboard uh, bow. They seem to be the length of cruisers. Wow. Castle Combat Redness crushing, Cruising. Whole ship now ready for battle. Well, now I'm curious about those sea monsters. 2130, visibility 3, terrible C, escort ship ca Caledons, damage and paralyze, not suitable for battle, escort ship Vanicons, sunken with the captain falling. 
our ships hold heavily damage, water pouring in from three locations, second and third cannons totally destroyed, urgent damage control is needed. No, so it wasn't just a single ship. 2200, visibility 4, a terrible sea, with sea monsters merging in groups at 4 o'clock off left stern. Uh, this, the number can be estimated, clockwork calculator, damage, firing parameters impossible to estimate, accelerating to draw closer to flagship sponsor. Ah, so this is not sponsor. In other words, the ship must have sunk during the struggle against the sea monster. The, this half was torn up by the waves and floated on the ocean currents before finally setting here. And if it wasn't used for my monster, then her other half must still be inside its body. Wait, but... Wouldn't that mean that she really was beating half? Uh, what's that noise? Ah, more monsters. Here they come again. I'm on height. Uh, but, okay. Oh, she's engineer. Reports, leaks. Oh, my. Three days, maybe two. That's crazy, Captain of ours. Iron first mate, you're near. Anyone else you need to stay behind? Oh, there you go. Still coming on back. We're going to make it. Boys and girls, this is Vice Direct, your captain. Finish off last bottle of wine. Forget all our rules. Back, prepare one down. Back to minutes. Estimating damage to ship structure. Chance survival zero, shot across machine up, just one. That's supposed to be protective equipment. Yeah, I couldn't it was hard enough to read that with auto skipping and I st still find was supposed to be fighting monsters while that was there. And where was those voices coming from? Watch it, Vermin! Swollen Fury! This is order. Gather. Coming through. What's the bright shiny thing if I want to play tricks on her? Leave her, sailors. Leave her. Tomorrow you get her pay and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, sailors. Leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow. So it's time for us to leave her. No grog allowed on a rotten grub. It's time for us to leave her. Leave her, sailors. Leave her. The sails are furled, our work is done, and it's time for us to leave her. As a dream like shaded solves in the ocean waves, a sorrowful voice comes from a strange planet. Blue like a little sailor, I saw her. <laughs> she had a the scent of sea monster on her, but she's a good child. Perhaps she will not get my flagship dirty. It's a shame I couldn't protect her well enough. She was a good boat. It's alright. I don't know, I'm a bit confused. Uh, you took Pamela to hide and then you went wild on those slimes. <laughs> then you... Poor <laughs> the slimes. Uh, then you picked up a handful of sand and started talking to yourself. What happened to you just now? You scrapped Paimon half to death. I witnessed the moments before the ship sank. I picked up the silver pendant. A pendant? But there's nothing in your hand but sand. Uh, wait. There's also a really small conch. Wait, so you were talking to this imaginary pendant? It's just the contents of the logbook earlier confusing you, right? What's with all the noise? What are you doing? Were you trying to hold the wreck off while I wasn't around? 
uh, is the wood from the shipwreck like this worth a lot? I don't know. Hey, is that really what you're planning? You naughty jellyfish. I even though it's in pieces. Well, bits of it can still be collected as souvenirs. I'm afraid it's probably impossible to restore its original white ironclad appearance. But I can still explore her past experiences. Maybe Captain Basil seems to have been really fond of you. I heard Captain Basil's voice. Fond of you. Huh? What? It's nothing. It's been acting strange ever since just now. Maybe some rest will do the trick. Uh, don't say that, Paimo. I believe you saw something we didn't. Well, at the very least, there's no harm in thinking this way. Just like how I believe Captain Basil has always been supporting me. I will find a way to gradually restore her logbook and nautical charge so that her adventures, uh, adventures and stories can be marked accurately on our maps. That's what I want to do. Although the meaning of some names may be lost and the location of some ports may be known to no one. That doesn't matter. We can just leave it to people who come after to rediscover them. Yes, thank you for helping me locate this potion. Please accept this gift of mine. But didn't we just find a log that was from one of the ships accompanying this potion? Uh, okay, see you. Oh, the coach is here. And so are you. Hello there, I'm pleasant, presently reading uh, the sailing logs. Captain Basil is really impressive. Learned so much just from reading the logs she left. Even though this potion has been... But I'm more than satisfied with having been able to witness her past from these records. How things been going lately? It's, I've been sorting through Captain Basil's navigation maps. Uh, it's been tough going, but it's also been really fun. I learned about many lost ports through reading other stories in the past, and I've been able to approximate their locations through her records and the clues she left. Still, there are some things I don't quite understand. Things don't quite understand. I hope your restoration work goes smoothly. What? That's right, some of her logs constantly mention this place called the Narcissian Cross Institute, and she often talks about the children there. I think that must have been some sort of school with lots of kids. If I have more corroborating evidence, I could prove this hypothesis of mine. Okay, how do I take you there? Because I know where that is. That's good. Yeah, maybe just one day I have my own ship against that series of like she did. Uh, hope you're I save my space so long. Thanks for your help. I managed to find these logs and maps. Restoration is going slow going, but I believe as long as I persist, I'll finish someday. So maybe we'll continue your quest. We have some unfinished I'll be just like Captain side Basil. stories on other lanes, don't we? Okay, I think I have one more thing I can do. Well, there's also that, but I I like to get the last uh, page before. Uh, I think I can get the continued things here with the rock I brought him. That means that she emerges with these rocks to make some new accessories. How far along is he with that phone? If I have time, let's go back and check. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the that buzzing. Damage. I could make a fortune from this. Well, ah, it's you too. Uh, the ones who sold me those gemstones. Yeah, you said something about turning them into pretty accessories last time we met. How is that going? I'm okay, and wait to see how they turn out. About that, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Huh? 
I really wanted to lay the gemstone in jewelry, but the ore is far too hard to polish by hand in any detail. And that's not even the worst part. Who could have imagined that after being cut and polished, the ore will lose all its original glow? In a way, they are not suitable for crafting at all. Well, but they were a pretty rock. You can have a pretty rock. Oh, no, probably didn't expect things to turn out like this. We generally thought that those stones would be useful in some way. Useful, say? Well, it certainly isn't useless. There's a place that we can lock on the counter while you're speaking. Uh, look at this new mechanical clock. It was made using the very ore. It was. I was about to blame myself for misadjusting the ore and was going to just get rid of it. But then some clocksmiths came by and saw the scraps left over from our processing attempts. Since the ore was so durable, they took some of them and used to make components for their clocks. Come on, you can't make fine details, but you can make high precision gears for that many of those clocks were handmade or should have been uh, I was surprised to discover that thanks to the ore's high resistance to abrasion it is superior to materials traditionally used for the moving components of clocks but if they are used to make clocks the supply shipmates will need to be even more reliable I guess we can do that if you contact Direct, directly, I guess we can do that. Ah, you tell Chess about Puka and your veins. I see, then that is truly a happy coincidence. The prototype clock was created using the latest waterproof clam style design. In other words, it was intended for melusing use from the very start. In that case, could you bring this prototype to Miss Puka and explain the situation to her? After all, I've never done business with Melusins before. If Miss Puka could provide us with a stable supply, we'd be able to establish a whole new production line. I'll be sure to personally visit her in the future. You have to dive there, okay. Um, it would be a good idea to implement Melusin aesthetics into future clock designs. Now, it sounds like you'll benefit Puka too if you succeed. I don't know, they don't need money, do they need clocks? Oh, this could be a great opportunity for Puka to start her own gemstone factory. Come on, let's go talk to her. I'm calling on you. Uh, can we keep this clock to put on our wall? Uh, oh no, hang on, where was Puka's place was a bit off. Uh. The wind rises. No, 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 shut up. I don't want to talk to you. I don't care. I don't know who you are. The best time. Hey, Spyro, it's been a while. Uh, are you looking for the same strange rocks as last time? Oh, we are, but there's something else too. You give Chesu's prototype clock to Puka and tell her about Chesu's plan to make clocks using the strange ore. Amazing! They can make things like this out of those rocks? Uh, only the bits inside are made from that stone. Uh, you can even hear it tickling underwater. I've never seen a clock like this. Chesu talked about it having an oyster style structure, or it was clam style. Uh, I'm happy just hearing the sound of coming from the clock. I never imagined that even ordinary stones like this would be so suited for something. 
I always thought that you had to be like my sister, and only the rarest of gemstones could be turned into treasures. I never thought that you could also make something incredible with, with such ordinary rocks. Everything, everything has its value and purpose. Mm -hmm. I suddenly feel really good about myself. Puka carefully places the clock on a nice place. Ah, I wanted that. Okay, now all I have to do is get the already and sell it to Chesil when he needs it. Then you'll even be able to have your own gemstone workshop, just like your sister. You've collected lots of different stones after all. Maybe you'll be able to find a use for each and every one of them. Right, I'll definitely make preparations for that. Thank you so much. If you ever need any rocks, come find me anytime. Don't mention it. Come find you. Where? Investigate. Oh no, it's that. Okay. Mm, that was the last quest I was aware about. Uh, there may be. S oh no, 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 no. There's one more. There. There's something about Puddle over there. Puddle. Swan Fury! Uh, let's check here. What's up? Feelings. You recall secret feelings. That's right. Run. Run far, far away. To the other side of the mountain. To the city alleys. And make sure I don't see you. Uh, what's going on? Uh, nothing serious. You'll run away again. It happens all the time. Just say the word inspection and off hero takes. This time, Prince and Princess fled too. I had not tripped when taking care of the flower fields previously, leaving me with a yet unhealed leg injury. Dealing with those three rascals would have been easy. Are you mountaineers? If you like to place the to if you like a place to rest your feet, you can sit a while in the house. I shall treat you in a bit once I have brought those three rapscallions back by the scruffs. Yes, we have vowed to conquer every high peak in the vault. Yeah. Wait, we vowed that? But we definitely wasn't consulted. Well, let's introduce ourselves all the same. Paimon's Paimon, he's Agnus, we're adventurers. And if you're looking for people, there's no one more experienced than us. If you're like aren't feeling too good, leave the searching to us adventurers. Then why don't you wear those green uniforms? Not everyone has to wear that outfit, or rather, we're such experienced adventurers that we can just wear whatever we want. Uh, I see, I suppose that the services of seasoned adventurers should also come with the requisite payment. Alright then, good children, call me Earnshaw. I would be most grateful for your help. So we're looking for our hero, prince, and princess. Three. These don't sound like normal names. Aren't these nicknames for kids? They're dogs. Uh, really? They are, uh, sound like better kind of kitty names? My daughter named them. If it was not for her raising hue and cry, I would not have raised such delicate creatures. When there were two pups, they are, were quite silly and very cute, but they quickly grew into disobedient little rascals. Try to control them a little, and uh, they resist and they flee. They don't go very far, of course, but one does need to retrieve them all the same. As for a hero who fears something like a tooth inspection, what a joke. When they come back once they get hungry, They'll probably just play until sundown before returning. Or they might awaken in the wild spirit in their blood, return to the mountain forest, and become apex predators. That would be a pretty cool story, wouldn't it? No, no, rules must remain rules. If we let them off once, they will do this a second and a third time. And once they get used to doing ill, they will not change for better easily. But well, they're just little doggies, aren't they? Do we really have to be so strict with them? 
well, they do have a bad example to follow. Uh, the silly daughter of mine left home several years ago and hasn't returned. Well, if they had done exactly as she had, that would have saved me some time. But if she were to return and find her precious dogs, whom she raised hell just to own, gone, she ball for all she's worth. Even though it is this is all her fault anyway. Just like we walked into a family issue, let's not ask further. Alright then, so we just need to bring them back home, right? That's low poly. Yes, the forests are dangerous, uh, yet even more so at night. Those dogs do not know how delicate they are, even if they do not love it, they are safer in here. Heroes run off to the north for an old dog to still be so playful, seriously. It's also, it also likes pausing to forage for food along the path. Don't go easy on it, you'll get in real trouble if you eat something bad. If you refuse to leave, harden your heart and take the food you got from Arkham knows where and away. That should give the sign, signal to, that it's time to go home. There are two having gone far. They're just mucking about in the flower garden. Just tell them to get back here and that should do. And this sounds simple, just leave it to us. You just wait here, Earnshaw will be right back. Careful about the flowers, by the way. Don't tread on them. Actually, we'll do. Don't tread on the flowers, right? Well, never mind Paimon, but he's pretty agile too. Just grab those playful dogs, drag them back, right? They're pretty deck. Think about that. Then run in the direction of the home. Quit following me. That's the dog. It's just a neighbor. <laughs> we need to worry. Stabilize. Come on, keep going. Urshaw brings you out to the garden. Don't worry, the flowers. Okay, flower lady. It, it did the first, but the dog did the same thing. That's because they're naughty. You shouldn't learn the, from their bad examples. Oh. Solidify. Okay, but this doesn't matter. Dog, if the time is over, come on. Don't run off. Behold! Can I? Okay, okay. They all stay in the same dog house. And they're all gone, all gone, right? Let's go back. Huh. Who am I fighting? Who am I fighting? Well, I thought that this would be easier. Who knew they'd be so capricious? That's pretty straightforward. 
Well then, children, I hope you now understand that the more capricious they are, the more we need to teach them the rules. Well, and we at least remember not to tread on the flowers, did we? Looks like we need a few rules laid down just for you, Paimo. Uh, come on, Paimo's not like that. Nor is she some kind of disobedient pet. Uh, if you're tired, rest here a while before going. Come have some this taste is rock go. I just made while you're at it. Oh goodies. But oh we shouldn't. This does it right. Why not? We just did a job. Now it's a reward for it. Uh come now. Don't you trust do you not trust my skills? I will not speak for this for other dishes, but I'm very confident on my raw gold, at least. No no, Pam was wondering if this would count as not following the rules or something. Labor deserves a reward, so this is what you are owned for your efforts. Uh, you need to eat to keep your strength up, after all. And you are adventurous, so you need that energy all the more. As for your payment for the official commission, I will give you, I will give it to the letter. Uh, I believe the guild's rules indicate as much. In that case, don't mind if you do. Uh, the old main investigation, the two of you enjoy some regard while it's not blah 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 blah. Uh, Mew, after some honest work, always tastes especially great. And the regal was, well, you really had a, you had a real homey feel. Well, the ingredients and the methods of cooking were nothing quite curious. Yep, it was normal but tastes really good. Of course, even my silly daughter has not but praises for this dish. Just a whiff of it would send her running to the table, putting all her complaints aside. But she's very far away now, and I fear she can't smell my ragu any longer. I wager that she's even forgotten the way home, in fact. Uh, it's that on request. Uh, you know, Earnshaw, if you don't mind telling us what she looks like, we could find her for you. We're good at that, remember? If you, were, if you meet her in our travels, that is. Uh, you truly are good-hearted children. Thank you. In truth, it would not be hard for me to find her. She did get someone to send me some letters previously. But I reckon she doesn't think uh, she's at fault. Why else would she only send letters but not return home? As such, I haven't read a single one of her letters. In fact, I haven't opened a single one. We can overlook the folly of animals, but are we to accept that from a human, a grown woman, no less? Speaking of which, she hasn't sent any letters recently, perhaps she's finally grown tired of trying to get a rise out of me. Regardless, I shall not hire people specifically to bring her back. She can either admit fault and return herself, or not at all. Okay, if say so. And this, on the same thing for helping to bring Hero and the others back. The payment isn't much, even with the Rago added. And so take both. So take both, would you? Your adventurers often sleep out in the wild, don't you? Well, remember to eat well and dress warmly. Don't starve or catch a chill. Yep, you take care of your leg too, Earnshaw. Uh, see you, take good care of yourselves. Okay, what happened? between them how's the trip being kids why not take a lot off and put your feet up for a bit thanks for hearing the others and they're fine by which I mean they always make me worry that's what's new at least they are alive and kicking which means they're healthy that's always a good thing and I think Caesar Dari returned home. Uh, don't even talk about it. That stubborn girl, I don't think she ever intends to come back. Okay. So, let's just make a wish. No. Uh, six days to go. Okay, so a few more tries for child. Uh, now I think that was the last quest I was aware about. 
I think there will be more of those uh, films, filmmakers. And probably some more about that. The boat. And then I need the last page before going there. Well, all right. There's no such thing as pure freedom I'm in this world. I'm out. Even the wind cannot blow on.